यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबसेक्ट थी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूली release feature in november 2022 that is creating dynamic slicer using the field parameters so this feature will enable us to create a slicer which can be controlled by another slicer and the values in the slicer would be governed by another slicer so if you select state in the slicer 1 the slicer 2 will show the state values if you select brand in the slicer 1 the slicer 2 will show the brand values so let's jump onto the power bi and try that out this is the new november 2022 update and we have now a this green color ui which is more suitable in terms of the color which people can identify so that's where the change has come so now you have this green color vancom screen so let me open the file where i'm going to work on that one while that file is opening let me tell you in case you have not enabled the field parameters you can go to the file options and setting options and make sure you have enabled the preview feature field parameters now this feature is available for quite some time now so make sure you have enabled that and th there is also optimized ribbon if you want to use some of the optimized feature you can enable that so i'll show you that also so if you click you need to restart i already done that so i can cancel it i can come out so this optimize ribbon is something which you are going to see where you can pause the visual you can refresh the visual you can optimize the preset and you can use the performance analyzer so these are the few things which you can do here but right now our focus is field parameters so let's go ahead and create field parameters so now to what field parameter we are going to create is we are going to create the access field parameter we can create major uh, field parameter we can create access field parameter so first thing we are going to do is going to create access field parameter and then we are going to create a dynamic slicer where we our values of the slicer will change based on the another slicer which is showing us the various field parameters to understand that let's begin let's begin and go to the modeling tab and in the, the modeling tab the new parameter will show you two option numeric range and field values i am going to select the field value option once i select the field value option i am going to say it is access or i can call it slicer and then i'm going to bring in all the things which i wanted my slicer to sl slice so i bring in state city item this is the common model i'm using for my videos you can get the file on my github account so now i bring in category sub category and brand i can place it in between if i need to change the position or i can drag and drop and change the position also it is going to create a table for us so when i and it can also put the slicer on the page you can see add the slicer on the page so by default let me add the slicer on the page so this slicer is something which can slice your axis and we have done this example in the past just for your understanding let me create a visual and showcase what this can do i will create a new visual click on the empty space create a new visual now i go to the slicer and i check this slicer and then i need to bring in one major at least now i can have more than one major that's not a challenge and in the y axis i put a major so right now you are seeing there is a extend uh, expand button which is enabled now this is enabled because we can you know show all of them but now let me come back up and let me select state so it is state if i select city it is city if i select brand it is brand if i select category it is category if i select sub category it is sub category now i know this can happen in a bar visual where i can get these different different values and if i select one of those values the other visual can get filtered but i wanted the same features a part of the slicer so but let me add one more slicer but when i used to drag it on the slicer and let me make it little bit smaller and when i drag this onto the slicer i will again see these things now because this is the first slicer this is controlling so i will only see the one value okay so what i need to do in such case is i need to go and right click or click on this arrow and say show values of the selected field and i start seeing the value now i can filter the value 
with the control i can select more than one value okay now let me go to category i can filter now category now because my visual is is on category that's why i am doing that but i can have my visual which is on something else so i don't use the slicer let me use state in the place of that so now you can say based on the category my states are getting filtered if i remove that you can see fairly large values are coming in now i select category 2 i select category 1 i can select category 3 so in this manner what is happen i have a slicer which decides the value of another slicer now what happens if i have all the values so right now that's the part which is not supported if i have all the values it's not working so you need to have at least one value selected and the other slicer will take up those values and keep on showing that so this is a really nice feature now you don't need those tons of slicer you can have one field parameter which is deciding which value your slicer should add and you can keep on selecting those values so i select this category 2 value and you know i can go to sub category and then i select sub category it does not uh, right now store those values so if i go to brand and come back to sub category there is no sub category selected but it's a good way you know to reduce your number of slicers and you know check you know what kind of filtering you want so you can control that this was one feature which was asked by many of you so go ahead and try that out and you can provide the feedback on the official release page uh, how what you feel about that feature so let me know what do you think about this feature what else you wanted me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you